Hey everybody, welcome to Sailing Tips. Today we're going to talk about how to get from this to this. That's right, we're going to talk about how to pack a spinnaker. Stick around. These are the uh, two most common types of uh, spinnaker bags that you're likely to encounter. Um, this one here is my favorite. Uh, it's called a box bag and uh, this one here is uh, just a stuff bag. The box bag is really nice because the spinnaker is actually attached to the bag in three places. You've got your tack attached to the bag here, your clue attached to the bag over here, and the head of the spinnaker attached to the bag uh, right here in the middle. Uh, you can also attach the bag uh, to the boat uh, with these clips. And so the really nice thing about this box bag is that you can get your spinnaker all hooked up and uh, ready to go, and it's still very securely in the bag. And so that's one of the big advantages of the box bag over the stuff bag. So we're going to talk about how to pack a spinnaker into the uh, box bag, uh, but it's very similar to pack it into the stuff bag. So your main goal with packing a spinnaker is to ensure that it comes out of the bag cleanly uh, without any twists uh, or worse yet, uh, tied in a knot. So for example, when we hook the halyard to the head of the spinnaker, we want it to just sort of burst out of the bag and come out of the bag really nicely, like this, and then fill and start flying. Uh, and so in order to do that, we want to pack it into the bag uh, without any twists uh, or knots into it. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. A spinnaker is really a big triangle. So uh, in order to orient yourself, first thing you want to do is find the corners. So this one was easy. Then I just follow an edge till I get to another corner. Okay, so here's the tack, here's the clue, and uh, this white edge is the foot of the spinnaker. So then I just need to start with any other edge and follow it up to the, to the head. So here I'll start on this side here, just following the uh, red edge. Making sure there are no twists uh, in the spinnaker. Okay, so here we go. Here we've got the head, we've got the clue, and over here we've got the tap. Now, I could run the third edge to make sure it's not twisted, but all you really need to run is two out of the three edges. Uh, but just to show you, I'll run this edge too and make sure that it's not uh, twisted. There, and sure enough, it's not. So now what we have is we have the spinnaker actually oriented on the ground here, uh, exactly like it would fly. Now the next thing to do is to simply stuff it in the bag like this. So now I'll just bring the bag into the picture here. I'll take the tack and attach it to one side of the bag. Velcro that on. Take the clue, attach it to the other side. Velcro that on. And then I know I've got the foot here connecting the tack and the clue. There we go. So now I just start stuffing into the bag. Leaving the head out, of course, until the end. You kind of want to watch that the spinnaker. You want to watch the spinnaker doesn't twist as it's going into the bag. Okay, so the last thing we put in is the head right here on the top. Put this through the Velcro like that. Then we'll uh, Velcro, up, Velcro up the other parts of the bag. Put the clips together. And voila, we have one packed spinnaker. Packing a stuff bag is exactly the same 
except you don't have the benefit of being able to attach the tack and the clue in the head to the bag. But you still, you still pack them into the bag the exact same way uh, with the corners of the spinnaker all aligned uh, with the foot along one side, uh, the tack along one side, the clue along the other side, and uh, connected all together like this. Uh, but there is also a little bit less certainty uh, with this kind of bag, uh, so that's why I prefer the box bag. If you don't have a box bag, or uh, the boat that you're sailing on doesn't have one, uh, please get one, or encourage the skipper of the boat to get one. They're about $150, uh, but they're quite frankly worth their weight in gold. If you uh, want to see more of these kinds of videos, leave a like, and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.